Yes, welcome back to the LCRL. Uh, Donnie joined by Cracked on commentary once again, the old boring duo. And now uh, the preliminary final. The Yiffers somehow making their way to the fucking finals versus the Shithawks. Now, I think I speak for us both, Cracked, when I say I hope we, we see a demolition of the Yiffers from the Shithawks. Fucking oath, Donnie. But, uh, <laughs> well, hopefully we at least see some good rugby league being played. Uh, probably not by the Yiffers, because the Yiffers fucking suck. Um, but the Shithawks, they, they'll probably do some good shit. You got Keemstar, you got a couple of wrestlers, or wrestling personality. The only wrestlers are CM Punk and Ryback. But you've got fucking Tony Khan, he, he's got a good mind on him and a lot of fucking money. And then you got Vince Russo. Um, what do I say about Vince Russo? He killed WCW, that's like a... That's something. Uh, and he kind of kick-started the attitude. Uh, but we're, we're rugby league here, cracked, but not, not, not fucking wrestling. Um, anyway, let's get into the lineups and head to the field. Yes, and starting off with the Yippers. At fullback, we've got Andy Folsky. On the wing, Smash Bandicoot and Jusana Pex. In the center, it's Joel Monaghan and Peace Wolf. In the halves, Shane Dawson and Hypnotist Sappho. The front rowers, Cyber Smith and Kara the Wolf. Hooker is Nate Dog, who also captains the team. Puppy Chan and Quantum Kitty in the second row. Corn Kitty at lock, non the bench, Abyssal God, Fox Glove, Nacho Doggo, and Vexium Swift. Now the Shithawks, the away team. That fullback is old Sexy Vegan. On the wings, Sniper Wolf and Neon. In the centers, Tommy Fury and Aiden Ross. In the halves, CM Punk at 5'8 and Todd Carney at halfback. The front row is Ryback and John Fury. Tony Khan at hooker, who also captains the team. Keemstar and Shoe Nice at second row. Orange at lock. On the bench, Beetlejuice, Illuminati, Little Lunchbox, and Vince Russo. Yes, in the faithful duo of Ted and Terry Little. Are the Crusaders in this match, they're going to keep guard and make sure that none of these players are doing anything that they really shouldn't be doing uh, on the footy field. Yes, and we're back on the field. Um, is it fucking raided. I don't know what to really say about the, the, this part of the match. I guess players are just running out on the field. Yes, that's a good ob observation, Donnie, but I think most of the viewers got the point. Um, Hypnotist Sappho ready to get us kicked off. I've got to stop saying um so fucking much. It's what I was taught in English class. You listened in school? Fucking no. N not really. But neither. Yeah, that's probably why we're so smart. Speak for yourself, Donnie. Anyway, right back with the charge. He's running it up, and he's brought down by Cord Kitty and Puppy Chan. Plays the ball, Tony Khan receives and gets it off to Punk, and Punk runs it up to Nate Dog, and Nate Dog drags him down just before halfway. Here's an explosive start from the shithawk as Ryback charges it up again, takes two defenders to bring down the big man. As CM Punk looks to run straight at, uh, I'm not sure who that was, a little scoot from uh, Tony Khan. He's going, oh no, he's caught by Sexy Vegan. I thought he was going to put a tricky step on. Fifth and last for the Shithawks now. 20 away. The kick, it's... He's put up the bomb and it's bounced off the crossbar. Tony Khan with the ball, but tackled fifth and last. Hand over. Just before the 10. Past the 10, sorry. But the Yiffers spread it wide to fucking Peace Wolf. And you better get a... That's good work by Sexy Vegan with the cover defense. Here's a bit of scary play there. The, the Yiffers with a good line break. Tackle. 45 is Nate Dog. They spread uh, pass the ball to Quantum Kitty, who tries to go in through in the field, <laughs> in through a gap of the play the ball area, but doesn't get it through. And the lock beats the other lock, the opposing one. Uh, or Orange tackling Cord Kitty. A big hole in the defense, but they pass the ball and uh, it was wrapped up by the Sniper Wolf, I believe. And now Sexy Vegan catches the ball in goal. He runs it back and his tackle smashed by two defenders. Uh, Nate Dog and Cord Kitty. And um, Ryback trying to look and exploit the gap, but he cannot get anywhere. Tony Khan doesn't know what the fuck to do with the ball, so he just stood there and took the tackle. Third tackle. 
20 away. Hold on, Aiden Ross with a line break. He should have passed infield to shoot ice, but didn't. And he is tackled halfway. Fourth tackle. Now they pass it to John Fury. John Fury's tackled by two much smaller men. Fifth the last halfway line. Boots the kick down to Folsky, and Folsky will run back and is wrapped up by Orange. Tackled just past the 30. And Cyber Smith, he's wrestled to ground by uh, Vince. Is that Vince Russo? Yeah, it's Vince. No, it's Tony Khan. As uh, Nate Dogs to scoot out a dummy half, makes a line break, and Sexy Vegan with the tackle. Sexy Vegan being a star for the, the Shithawks at the moment. But, uh, yeah, not much to say other than, oh, fuck, no, no, get him. Oh, look at that. The ball has been stripped by Sexy Vegan. They've gotten possession. That, that takes away a lot of the danger. And Aiden Ross down the sideline again. Should have, nah, nah, not that pass. Might have gone forward. And I am derailing on commentary. But that's okay, because fucking Tony Khan's just gone out of nowhere. He, he's got to cut through the defense like a fucking hot knife through butter. And that'll be a try to the Shithawks. Yes, a good start to the Shithawks. Tony Khan, with a bit of magic out of nowhere, got through D Dawson, P Peace Wolf, I think, or Puppy Chan, and Folsky. Folsky, with a lazy effort of, ta uh, effort of tackling the man, but... Yes, Will Fulski's never really been known for his tackling abilities, mainly his speed, I think. I haven't really been paying attention to old Fulski much throughout this season. Now the kick. And uh, CM Punk nails it straight down the dot. 6 nil to the Shithawks. That's some good stuff. They don't want the shit. They don't want the Yiffers to win this one. Now Sappho with the kick. And she drills it deep. And Todd Carney, the bubbler, catches it. John Fury, he charges up. But uh, Quantum Kitty wraps him up at just past the 20 meter line. They spread through the hands to Shoot Ice. Shoot Ice tackled by Peaceful. 30 away from his own line. They pass to the right. Aiden Ross with a sidestep, but Quantum Kitty wraps him up and drags him down 40 away from his own line. Now they spread it to the bubbler again. The bubbler tells Court Kid it ain't absolute shit and fucking knocks him over. That was a good hit, that. And now Sexy Vegan tries his luck down the blind side, but Son Effects is right onto him. Bit the last 40 away from the Yiffers line this time. A good kick, bounces and forces Folsky to run it back. No taking it on the full this time. Now the Yiffers spread it to the left, and there's a big gap out in the defense. Ooh, Peace Wolf wrapped up on the halfway. Nate Dog got rid of uh, Sniper Wolf, but Sniper Wolf wasn't square at marker there. There should have been a penalty, but I'm not complaining. Quantum Kitty gets wrapped up by who's Aiden Ross. Now we spread it to the center of the field as Cord Kitty bumps off one. But the cover defense from Sexy Vegan is just too much. Fifth and last now, almost at half time. Hitting it to Sappho, fakes the kick, runs to the left and then kicks again. Vegan saw it coming though, and he runs it back to the 10. Bad pass, but the rebounded into Sexy Vegan's hands. And he's tackled by Folsky to close off the half. Yes, a good half that one. The Shithawks maintaining the lead 6 0. And, uh,. Hoping for a shut off in the second half because fuck the Yiffers. That's right, Donny, and we'll be back after these commercial breaks. The new salty sensation concocted at 14 Branch Land Corp. Orange Fizzy Salty Splash. Orange Fizzy Salty Splash uses recycled ingredients of which we can't disclose, or our sales will plummet. Buy Orange Fizzy Salty Splash today. <laughs> Head and harassed it, and I'm here to bring you the breaking news. Sympathy Circus is in cinders after being set ablaze. The police have still yet to identify the culprit, and the only thing left at the scene 
Mike Mills has just won Siggy Bot. In other news, Mike Muska has fled to the Soviet country of Burisma Azov with his pretend wife Anya. He is armed and dangerous, equipped with a Kalashnikov airsoft gun loaded with ball bearings 2mm in diameter. Please take caution if you see this individual. Yes, and now the second half's ready to be uh, kicked off. The bubbler Todd Carney's put the ball down. He's ready to to get this match started. And he's taking his fucking time, but here we go. He's got the ball off. Then fucking Shane Dawson with the catch. Foxglove charges it up. CM Punk puts him down. 15 away from his own line. Long pass out to Hypnotist Sappho. And Sappho's brought down by Ryback. Now they pass to the right. And uh, Puppy Chan looking for a hole in the defense. Found one, but caught by CM Punk. Just too fast for her. Neon charges up to see him smash, smash Bandicoot. And uh, Nate Dogs ta tackled from W half, 30 away from his own line. The kick put 25 away, away from the line. And uh, Orange is fucking hammered by Falski. Back to Meth Mountain. And um, Tommy Fury trying to run his way past Joel Monaghan, the only person with a speck of rugby league experience in this match. And Neon cannot get started as he's wrapped up by Smash Bandicoot. Vince Russo goes for a dart out of dummy half, unable to produce any meters. As Tommy Fury does though, and he runs it to Volsky, but uh, unable to get past him. Fifth and last. Tw 15 away from the, the Yiffers line. The bomb put up by Punk. But it looks like he'll catch this on the full. Yes, Caro does. 20 meter restart. And now, Caro gets us started. But tackled by Keemstar and CM Punk. Yes, a good tackle, but an inside pass and Cool Kitty's wrapped up by Orange. Meeting of the locks again. Holy shit and fucking Keemstar's just nailed Nate Dog. Driven his face into the dirt as the bubbler wraps up Shane Dawson. 40 away from his own, uh, from the Yiffers line. And Cord Kitty with a little line break but caught by Vince Russo. As Kero the Wolf tries to charge it up to Ryback, that big mountain of a man Ryback is, fucking unable to get past him, is Kero. And Sexy Vegan runs it up and tackled by Foxglove. Keemstar runs it up, but unable to produce anything special. Vince Russo just quick dart out of dummy half, and they're not producing many meters, they're just sort of stuck on the 40 meter line. Yes, um, hold on, CM Punk with a line break, and he steps Volsky, but unfortunately that gives uh, Puppy Chan a chance to tackle him. And he does get tackled, 40 away from the Yiffers line. The kick put up, it was a good kick, rolled just uh, rolled uh, to a stop just before the, the try line, and Hypnotist Sappho threw a gap, this is dangerous, steps Sexy Vegan, who's been tackling brilliantly today until that point. Now they spread it to the left. Cord Kitty bumps off Vince Russo, but unable to get rid of Orange. And Orange wraps up Nate Dog as well. Fourth tackle now. It looks to be on the halfway line, but it doesn't matter because Caro Wolf is now tackled for the bit. And uh, the kick has been put up, and it's regathered by Sexy Vegan. And Vegan is hit hard by Fox Club. It was. 35 away from his own line. Right back now with the charge. And Vince Russo with the scoot out of WRF as the ball ripped out. But right back levels Hypnotist Sappho with a beautiful front on tackle. And now they go to the left. And would you look at that. The bubbler stops Quantum Kitty and Shoot Ice comes over the top like a drunken bastard. And um, the tackle. Two men converge onto Hypnotist Sappho to drag her to the ground. The step by Quantum Kitty, unable to break the broke one of the, the players' defense, but two wrapped up and saved the day for the, the shithawks. As Hypnotist Sappho is driven to ground by CM Punk and Aiden Aiden Ross. Or was that no, it was Toby Fury. Um Sexy Vegan with the regain and uh he's tackled by two defenders. And now they pass it to Orange. Orange from Meth Mountain tries to run his way past Fox Club the cut. But uh, 
and unable to get past him. Right back with the line break though, and the big man charges to the 40 meter line. Third tackle. Can they put on any more points? Can they put any more points on the Yippers? Yeah, I don't think so, crack. About as likely as you fucking up on commentary. You realize that's very likely. Holy shit, the goal, field goal, it's bounced off the upright. And it's cleaned up by Cord Kitty. Yes, that was a decent kick, but the wind got it by the looks and things. And um, Quantum Kitty gets through the defense and wrapped up by Ryback. And Tommy Fury with a huge, furious hit on fucking Falski. That sends him to the next dimension. As Quantum Kitty's wrapped up by Tommy Fury. No, John Fury. And there's the fifth and last tackle and full time whistle. My commentary's been shit. This match is good because the shit Hawks won. And there we go, the final tackle of the match. Now we'll check the stats and see who won the fucking man of the match. The man of the match, Tony Khan, with the one and only try. It was very even in possession. The end completions, 7 out of 8 for both teams, 49% for the Yippers and 51% for the Shithawks. The one error costing the Yippers, no penalties all match, 56 tackles to the Yippers to, compared to the Shithawks 50. 9 missed tackles to the Yippers compared to the Shithawks 8. 7 line breaks compared to the Shithawks 13. Yes, and the, the Shithawks have won 6 to nil. Yeah, but it could have been more, that, that field goal would have been... Good if it landed to make it 7 0. Well, they could have got another try to make it 12 0, really rub it into the Yiffers. Yeah, well, either way, the Yiffers are not progressing to the grand final because they got fucked. And now we've got our first grand final contestant for the 2024 season. Or is this 2023? Oh, I forget which season. Um, and that's right, it was 2023. But the point is, the Shithawks are our first grand final contestant. And rightfully so, because fuck the Yiffers. Almost as much as the Predators and Dog Cunts. Anyway, let's take a look at the draw. Next up is uh, the Goats and the Gypsies. Yes, and I have a feeling that the Goats are going to make mincemeat out of the Gypsies. And you never know. The, the, a miracle might happen. God might smile upon the Gypsies for some fucked up reason. Yes, but... Uh... I've still got a hundred on, on the goats. I thought you weren't betting in the final. Nah, nah, mate. That was all uh, smoke and mirrors. You remembering it wrong? I said I wasn't betting on the grand final. I'll hold you to that, Donny. Nah, 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 nah. She'll be right. Don't worry about it. Putting Donny's betting addiction aside, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a good day. And I should have another match out soon.